So I thought I would share a little modification to the K40 to help improve the tunability of the laser. Here's the current range of this potentiometer. Goes almost all the way around, but not quite. And the usable range from what everybody's been saying is you don't really want to go over 10 or 12 milliamps, so we're really only using about that much range, which seems like a waste. And I found that when engraving a picture into wood, it is very sensitive to the amount of uh, current, and it's very the slightest movement of the knob will change the power of the laser. So I'm going to attempt to change the potentiometer setup and make it uh, so I have a wider range of <coughs> selectability uh, between the in that uh, zero to 10 or 12 milliamp range. So what I found is this is the 1K ohm pot and uh, you have the three wires here. Blue wire is your, your VREF, the red wire is your signal line, and the green wire is your ground. Basically it's 5 volts, 0 volts, this is your variable. And uh, hooking up the meter and going through the ranges um, it does range between 0 and 5 volts like it's supposed to and I found that uh, the 5 milliamp on the dial is around 0.8 volts 10 milliamp is around 1.5 volts and the 15 milliamp is around 2.1 volts and their respective resistances um, are around uh, 900 770 and around 630 ohms so um, my goal is to use a voltage uh, dropping resistor and a 500 ohm pot instead of the 1000 ohm pot to fine tune or have a wider uh, rotation of the dial uh, to achieve that 0 to 15 milliamps so we're going to see how it goes. To demonstrate the voltage range coming off the board I have it basically at 0 and it says 20 millivolts move it to around 5 there's our 0.8 move it to around 10 ish there's 1.5 volts and at 15 it's 2.2 ish if we keep going with the dial you can see that it keeps going up all the way up to 5 volts Okay, so here's the new potentiometer installed. Same basic setup, ground wire, signal wire, power wire, but now we're going through a 500 ohm resistor, which is essentially is dropping the voltage on that terminal um, by half. So it's pretty much starting at around two and a half volts, um, which is the peak uh, voltage that we would want if we don't want to exceed the 15 milliamps on our laser or whatever so there is a sacrifice uh, to doing this uh, you can't you can you're gonna hit a limit but um, if your working range is low I think the benefit uh, outweighs that and I'm sure we can come up with a workaround for that as well okay so here's the new potentiometer hooked up the 500 ohm the dial uh, comes with this black face that goes from 0 to 100 and I have the meter hooked up to the signal lead to the board so you can, you'll be able to see the, the expanded range now or the, the sensitivity how it's increased um, so as you can see this is in the middle volt range still as I go on up now I'm into the <coughs> tenths of a volt so you can see how far I have to turn just to get to uh, the original uh, 0.8 volts and then to get to go even further up keep spinning it now I'm into the 2 volt range when I get to the 100% it stops about 2.5 volts so so now I'm using the full swing of the potentiometer to go basically from 
zero milliamps to around 15 but we're going to find out um, exactly uh, how this correlates all right so we've got everything on uh, basically at zero i wouldn't expect the milliamp gauge to read uh, i'm going to go up to the original 0.8 Fire the laser so we can see that's about six and a half milliamps go up to the 1.2 we're running almost 10 we move the dial you can see how how sensitive it is now being able to dial in the milliamps so I just wanted to give uh, everybody a look at uh, how I thought this could be improved with a simple uh, potentiometer upgrade and uh, I got that for 11 bucks on Amazon hope that helps